I know you mentioned a little bit earlier that there was a, a, a breach recently with um, MGM. You had been out at Black Hat, which is in Las Vegas, um, a sponsor and a vendor there for, for Black Hat and making that, that um, possible for, for the attendees there. Um, but there was a breach with MGM. Tell us about that breach and what happened there. Absolutely, and this is a great example that highlights your point. If one portion can, is targeted, uh, it can cause a ripple effect, cause uh, breaches or uh, a loss of availability or a breach with multiple organizations. So MGM had a, a ransomware attack. It was happened a couple weeks ago, you know, in September of uh, 2023, and this attack targeted MGM's networks. It was productive. It was uh, conducted by a group known as Scattered Spider. This is a, a term coined by CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike likes to name their APT groups. They named this one Scattered Spider. This group normally does ransomware attacks, and they're they're high level English speakers. They're primarily based in Europe, and it's believed that a couple of them could be in the United States as well. So they're very well spoken, uh, clear English speakers who do vishing attacks, voice phishing attacks. They'll do social engineering attacks where they use phone calls to try and trick somebody within an organization to disclose information. What they were able to do is they were able to break into MGM's networks using a social engineering attack. And they were going to originally, it's a, there was an interview with supposedly somebody from Scattered Spider. Originally the intent was that they claimed to target the slot machines and hack those slot machines, hack the, the casino machines and get money from them directly. They were unsuccessful in that. So they did a, a traditional ransomware attack. They used a ransomware as a service group known as Black Cat that we mentioned earlier. So they're usually affiliated with Black Cat. They often use their ransomware as a service uh, with their attacks. So they did a ransomware attack on MGM and that affected not only the casinos, but it affected the hotel rooms, MGM Grand, Mandela Bay, where Black Hat was held, uh, the Luxor, uh, all of the casinos, most of the casinos on the Las Vegas Strip are owned by MGM and operated by MGM. So hotel guests could, couldn't get into their rooms because rooms were all controlled by RFID cards. They had to have manual access for their rooms. The casinos had to uh, write out paper tickets for casino winnings. So it was, it was basically the casinos were on a contingency plan on offline mode. Um, and this obviously affected their reputation. MGM's had a reputation over the past few decades of being having an impenetrable network. And this clearly demonstrated that that was not the case. So clear reputational impact, uh, a financial impact, of course. And you know this was just from one little group doing social engineering, most likely using AI assisted tools to help with their social engineering attack and it was largely successful. Wow, that sounds like a complete nightmare. <laughs> that sounds like a complete <laughs> nightmare. 